welcome back to Electric Motorcycle News for March 5th, 2023. Uh, as always, links to all the stories will be in the comments below, so uh, go ahead and peruse that after this if you'd like. Alright, we're going to start off with, not to sound like a broken record, but this is huge. Moto America letting an electric motorcycle compete against the gas motorcycles in a whole series, not just one race. This isn't just like a little show they're putting on. This is, they're a competitor. They are here to win, and beyond that... They they have they have a kind of an ace in their pocket that uh, they haven't uh, haven't really. I mean, I I guess if you if you are into racing, which I'm I'm not really until this because this just has my interest. But they have this guy Stefano Mesa Mesa Mesa. I'm probably messing that up. Mesaing that up. Uh, but he has actually won his last nine races at Daytona, which is where the first race is this week. So I'm sorry. He, he he's he's gone nine for nine. He he's raced nine times last year and he won nine times. He set the track record for the fastest lap, and then he broke his own record of the fastest lap. This this guy is this is this is the heat. Like they're 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 not messing around. Energica having this guy on the team, whew, I can't I can't wait to watch this. Um, so this guy he he's he's gonna win. If he was on a gas bike, it would be a no brainer. He's gonna win. It's gonna be interesting seeing him on an Energica Rebel, and I can only imagine. That they're gonna have the thing pimped out, so he has a much better shot than a you know completely stock one like mine, which by the way is for sale. Link in description if you'd like to buy a 2021 Rebel. Stefano, he is an amazing racer, and he's on the Energica team. It's he's from Florida, he's got the home field advantage. He knows this track like the back of his hand, and I'm super excited to see what happens here. I mean, electric motorcycles do have a tendency to have some heat issues, so. Yeah, we'll see what happens in less than a week, actually. I'll, I'll bring that to you all as soon as I can. While we're talking about Energicas, there was a newsletter that was sent out. I'll try and put the screen capture up here. They did the most Italian thing ever. <laughs> they compared the price of each of their models to how many cappuccinos a day it would cost you. 3.99% APR. And then they list, of course, all the prices and you know what it would cost in cappuccinos per day and then they have this new thing down here which is their demo motorcycles and even they qualify for the new APR so this is a fun little web page if you want to save some money on Energica if you're not buying mine <laughs> so I'll put a link to that in the description of course also there was other news also if you ordered an Xperia and it was delayed because of the parts there's some logistics issues going on then you get a free battery warranty. I believe it's five years. I'll also put that up on the screen here. A five-year battery warranty, which is worth almost 1100 US dollars. So that's a pretty good deal. If you, you have to have ordered your bike last year and hold on to your reservation. So if you're thinking about canceling it, maybe hang on a little longer. It could be worth it. That's a pretty good deal. Long-range electric motorcycles are now charging at Tesla superchargers. I've mentioned it last week, I think it was that uh, Magic Docks were showing up on Tesla Superchargers, one in California, right next to the Zero factory, and a bunch in New York, because if you didn't know it, New York actually is the Tesla factory that makes superchargers and their charging equipment. So it makes sense that they'd have a bunch of them there to test out. This is a nice article by uh, my friend Micah, and of course my other friend Kelly's bike is on here. I don't know about that guy. But then other people have charged all energy as far as I've seen. I haven't seen a live wire yet, but uh, there is a flaw, and I'm sure it'll be fixed in some firmware soon, but the Xperia is getting about 7 or 8 kilowatts, and this Ego is getting 9 kilowatts, as you can see here. So, not great, but at least they're compatible. I'm sure we'll see updates in the next few weeks, so we can fully utilize that as it rolls out. Maybe it's on the Tesla side, who knows, I don't know, but I'm sure they're they're both pretty quick companies, so we'll have a, we'll have a fix this pretty soon. This is kind of the not-the-onion section. <laughs> this is all real stuff. It's 2023, and Mississippi is 50th place in everything, and they passed a bill to stop EV dealers. This is the ongoing struggle that I thought was settled, settled everywhere, but apparently not settled in Mississippi. They have passed a bill that stops electric car companies from opening their own dealerships. The wording for the bill just says motor vehicle. It doesn't say car, doesn't say four-wheeled vehicle, so this could apply to two, three-wheeled, whatever. So I don't know if this affects Saunders. I guess they don't have a physical dealership. Um, so it might not be a huge impact for electric motorcycles, but if you're hoping to pick up a Rivian or, you know, maybe Lordstown or whatever, I don't know if they have dealerships, but you're going to have to import it or buy another state and move it over. So huge letdown there. And then continuing down the Not the Onion route, this is the last story. 
Florida Republican wants to ban electric vehicles from hurricane evacuations. The problem, problem with air quotes, they think that electric vehicles are going to run out of batteries and cause traffic jams, which is just ridiculous. Uh, if, if you've seen my video on Teslas in the cold, you'll know my old 2018 Model 3 with no heat pump can sit in the below freezing temperatures and run the heater for over a day, and that's starting 80% power. So this is ridiculous. If you're in Florida and you're running the AC in a fan barely, your car is going to last four days. And as they point out in this story, people down there know people who have had a cousin that runs out of gas during an evacuation, or cars catching fire from overheating while they're idle. It's it's absolutely ridiculous. The, the best car to sit in in a traffic jam is an EV. It uses almost no power compared to a gas car producing heat in Florida, which you're going to want to counter with running more AC and puts more strain on the gas engine. So, completely ridiculous. But hopefully this gets gets shot down. It's not a bit, it's not a law yet. It's in the planning stages. If you're in Florida, make sure to let your elected officials know that this is ridiculous and that you don't support this. That's all I've got for this week. Uh, next week I'll try and bring you a daily update from the, uh, the track events. I, I don't know if I can get that updated nightly, but I'll do my best. And uh, hey, thank you all for watching. Have a great week. Florida man wants to ban electric vehicles from hurricane evacuations against an electric motorcycle. So huge shout out to... Uh, also... Also, I just learned that the... So I can't wait to see him. Cat, I swear to God, should I just start over again? I should just start over again.